What's up guys, this is Jake and in this video I'm going to show you how you can properly set up Google Ads conversion tracking on your Shopify store. So I'm going to be showing you how you can set this up manually using the code snippets since there are some apps out there that do that but sometimes they're buggy, they don't work. So I'm going to show you how you can set this up in just a couple minutes with code that's going to work every single time. So the first thing you need to do is head to your Google Ads account and you're going to need to come up here to Tools and Settings and then open up Conversions. And then we need to click on New Conversion Action. So we're going to click on Website and I'm going to paste in this URL of this test site right here. We're going to click on Scan and we're going to see that we can create conversion actions for website events but instead we're going to create the conversion actions manually using code. So I'm going to click on add a conversion action manually right here. So we're going to select a category. We're going to make it purchase. The conversion name here will just be a purchase. We're going to use different values for each conversion and then everything else we can keep as the same. Now I'm going to click on done. Then I'm going to come down here to save and continue. So now we have two things we have to do. We have to set up the Google tag itself. And then we also have to set up the conversion snippet that's going to track the purchases themselves. So the first thing we're going to do is set up the Google tag. So I'm going to click set up right here. And it's going to open up this code snippet. So we're going to just need to copy this code right here. And we just need to paste this on every page of our website after the head element. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our store and we're going to click on online store themes and then we're going to come in here to these three dots and click on edit code and we're going to come to the theme dot liquid and then right here we have the head tag so we're going to just enter right below it and I'm going to paste in the Google tag right here and I'm going to click on save. And then we need to put this in one more place. So we're going to back out. I'm going to go to settings and we're going to come down here to checkout. And we're going to scroll down here until we get to the order status page, additional scripts. And I'm going to paste this Google tag in right here and then click on save. So now we have the Google tag set up and tracking properly on our store. So now we need to actually track for the conversion event. So I'm going to click on confirm. And we can see here sometimes it's going to take a while for this to update so it might take a couple of hours so right now it hasn't updated yet but it should update here soon so you may have to wait a little bit for it to actually update but in the meantime the next thing we can do is set up the actual purchase conversion so we need to see the event snippet right here and we can see that what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and what i'm going to do is open up a notepad here because we're not actually going to use this exact code because if we take a look at it here we can see that it's making the value of every order being one dollar and we want the value to be dynamic so that way it tracks the exact dollar value of our orders so in order to do that we have to make some edits to this code so we're going to paste this code into a notepad or a text editor that you have and we're going to come back to this in a second. And then what we're going to do is open up this page right here. So I will leave a link to this page in the description. So this page right here is the Google Ads Conversion Tracking Tutorial in Shopify Help Center. And if we come down here to step four, which is make the conversion value dynamic, what we need to do is just copy this code right here. So we're going to copy this and come over to our store under the additional scripts and come down here and paste it in. So we can see we, instead of the value being a dollar, we have this dynamic code in here so that way Google is actually going to be, to be able to track the exact purchase value of our orders. But we can see the send to is what needs to be filled in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the code that we have right here and we're gonna look at the send to section and then everything in here, just gonna copy this bit of text right here that's in between those two quotations. And we're going to replace the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with that. And then we're going to click on save. And then we can just come over here and click close. And then we can click on done. 
So that's all you have to do to set up Google Ads conversion tracking inside of your Shopify store. And that's how you can do it manually with code. So this, so this saves you from having to use any type of app or third party app that might be buggy. So if you set it up this way, you'll be good to go and all of your purchase values will be tracked. So I'll leave a link to this particular page in the description so that way you can access this code snippet right here. And also before we end the video, if you are interested in setting up wholesale pricing on your Shopify store or you want to run giveaways on your Shopify store, be sure to check out my apps by clicking the links in the description down below. So with that said, thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.